Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 5 working clothing glitches after patch 1.50. So I hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to leave a like down below. And comment down below if these glitches help you or if they don't help you, I'll try and help you guys out because they might not work for you guys. You, because sometimes you guys miss out steps. So I will try and help you guys if you man, if they don't work for you. So And also make sure to subscribe to my channel because I'm currently on the rest of 2k. So let's get straight into the first glitch in the video. So for the first glitch in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain and save the orange or purple joggers using the crooked, using the crooked cop glitch. So what you guys want to do is just bring up your pause menu and go to online jobs. And you want to go down to verses and you can either start up track off or cricket cop but i do recommend starting up cricket cop so you guys want to wait until you load into that and you guys will need a friend for this or you guys want to wait for a random person to join so i recommend just getting a friend because it's easier otherwise you might end up otherwise the random person might end up doing the mission and you guys won't be able to get the outfit so you guys just want to wait for your friend to join and just start the mission now once you guys load into the mission you want to press left on the d-pad twice and then you guys want to ready up so you will see my friend here has the orange joggers and I have the purple joggers and you will be you probably are wondering why I have this orange duffel bag on it's just because the outfit I had on before I loaded into the job did have the orange duffel bag so you guys just want to ready up and then wait for your friends to ready up or anyone in the lobby to ready up so you guys will load into the lobby and you guys will see this little screen load and your character will be moving around with a gun in his hand so you guys just want to wait until that is finished until and until you can walk around so you guys will see you will be able to move here you guys want to bring up the interaction menu go to style and you guys want to hold right on the d-pad on illuminating clothing for about 25 to 30 seconds i do recommend 30 seconds just to make sure that the glitch does work so you guys will see that i've stopped here you guys want to wait until it's been 30 seconds and then you guys just want to wait until you get kicked for being inactive so you will see that i get a um, pop up here in a second saying that i'll be kicked in a minute for being idle so as you guys can see it's there in the bottom left so now you guys want to wait until you get kicked so i do get kicked here in a second so as i see i get kicked here i get the alert for being kicked from the session for being idle too long so once you guys see that you guys want to press x and then wait until you load back into gta 5 online and that will take about 20 seconds so i'm just going to speed it up here so you guys will see this just loading into gta online and now in a second i do load into gta online so now once you guys load into GTA Online, you should see that you have the outfit. As you can see, I have a parachute on, but that's because of my duffel bag. So now all you guys want to do is just make your way over to any clothing store or ammunition store. So I'm just going to make my way over to this Suburban over here. So once you guys have made your way over to any clothing store, you guys can just go inside and then just save the outfit. So you guys want to go over to the main desk. And I'm just going to go ahead and save my outfit here. So I'm just going to rename it as well, just overwrite this outfit and save it. So I'm just going to save it as purple because it's purple joggers. So now I'm just going to show you guys that it is the actual purple joggers and you guys can change the shoes to get the modded angles. So I'm just going to show you guys here that go for the sneakers and you guys will see it's the modded joggers. So that was the first glitch in today's video, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now let's get straight into the second glitch. So for this next glitch in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain and save the orange duffel bag using the husky jobs. But unfortunately, this is only PS4 only. So this is the only PS4 only glitch in this video though. So for the PS4 players, you guys can get this. But Xbox and PC, this is the only glitch where you guys won't be able to get this. So you guys want to go into the mission and wait for your friend to join. Now you guys just want to launch the job and then press ready to play. So you guys want to wait until everybody has readied up in the lobby. And you guys should spawn in on this platform here. So you guys will see that I have this orange duffel bag here. But if you guys don't lo load into the orange duffel bag, which you should do because it does every time. So you guys want to wait until you can move around. And you guys want to bring up the interaction menu. Go to style and accessories and then press left on the d-pad once to equip the earpiece. So you guys want to make sure you're not wearing any accessories like the earpiece or the rebreather. Because you guys need to equip the earpiece for this glitch. So once you guys have equipped that, you just want to exit using your phone. And you guys will see that you load in after a couple of seconds back into GTA Online with the duffel bag. So as you guys can see here, I have the duffel bag now. So what you guys want to do is just make your way over to the Spoochie Master. So 
So once you guys have made your way over to the mast store, you guys want to make your way over to where I am here. So just at the edge of the water and just above it as well. So you guys want to go quite high. And you guys want to jump off and then land right in front of the mast store. So if you guys don't know, this is the method to save a duffel bag because there's no other way to save it. So you guys want to pull out your parachute and you guys want to aim for the front desk at the mast store. So you guys want to make sure you don't hit anything just in case it takes away your parachute. You guys want to make sure you land at the very front otherwise you won't be able to save it. So as you guys can see I land right in front of this hat here. And then you guys want to spam right on the d-pad until it goes onto this section here. So now if now you guys want to just save the outfit. I'm just going to double save it to be safe. And if you guys see two parachutes on the floor that means the glitch has worked. So there's two parachutes on the floor there. So you guys will see when you equip it you have the orange duffel bag. So the, the one thing I really like about this is you can still change the outfits with the duffel bag. So that was the second glitch in this video, I hope you enjoyed, let's get straight into the third glitch. So for the third glitch in this video, you guys are going to make your way over to the pier because I'm going to be showing you guys how to merge any helmet or mask onto any of your outfits. So in this glitch, I'm going to be showing you guys how to merge the Space Ranger helmet. If you guys don't have the Space Ranger helmet, which a lot of you guys don't because it is quite rare to get or quite hard to get, you guys just want to equip any, any mask or um, helmet you guys want to merge onto any outfit. So I just have this outfit on here with the Space Ranger. So you guys want to have the outfit on with the mask or helmet. Now you guys want to do the telescope glitch. So unfortunately this has been patched at your apartment. So that's why you need to make it over to the pier. So once you guys have done that, you guys just want to equip any outfit. I'm just going to equip this new outfit here. And you guys will see that the mask has merged onto it. So that was, that was just a nice little quick glitch to show you guys. I thought you guys would enjoy it and it will help you out. So I hope you guys enjoyed that glitch. And if you've enjoyed any, any of these glitches, make sure to leave a like down below. So let's get straight into the next glitch. So for the next glitch in today's video, I kind of like the purple joggers method. But I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the modded white cap. So if you guys have seen my white joggers outfit tutorial, you guys will know what this white cap is. So it's just a modded white cap and it's very plain. Because you can get the white bigness cap that has the bigness logo. This is how to get that cap but with just plain and no logos. So you guys just want to load into truck off. And then you guys want to wait until you load in. And you guys want to make sure the clothing is on classic. You don't want to change that. And now you guys want to wait for a random person or get a friend to join. Now you guys want to press left on the d-pad once and you guys will see these modded hats. So if you're a host you will probably want to switch to the other teams and you have the white one. Or you can just get the tan one, it's up to you. So you guys just want to wait until the mission has loaded. And you guys will load in again with your character holding the gun again. So you guys want to wait until that loads. And we will be doing the same method again where you're holding right on the D-pad. So you guys so you guys just want to wait until you load in. So you guys can see I've loaded in here. So you guys want to bring up your interaction menu, go to illuminated clothing, and you want to hold right on your D-pad. And now once you guys done that, you just want to simply wait until you get kicked. So now you guys are about to see that I get kicked here. So once you guys get this alert again, you guys just want to press X to continue or A to continue if you're on Xbox. And now you now it will say join in GTA Online. So you guys just want to wait until you load into GTA Online lobby. So I've just sped it up here. It will take about 15 to 20 seconds, not too long. So you guys will just be loading into an invite only session. So my location was on my maze bank tower, so I just loaded back into my CEO office. So whatever your location is, you guys should spawn there. And you guys will see that you have the outfit. So you guys will wait a few seconds so it loads in. And you guys will see that I get out of the bed with the white modded cap outfit. So as you guys can see here, I have the white modded cap outfit. So now you guys can just go over to your wardrobe and then just go ahead and save the outfit. And now you guys can also just merge this hat into other outfits to make some cool tryhard outfits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this glitch. And if these glitches have helped you guys out, make sure to comment down below. So for the next glitch in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this glitch robe outfit. So you guys want to make sure you're in any apartment and you guys want to go over to the clothing, the clothing section. So now you guys want to equip any robe like this. And now you guys want to bring up interaction menu, just take off any accessories like I did here. I just took off that parachute. Now you guys want to go over to accessories and go to masks. And you guys want to scroll through until you find the, the long green loose mask here. So, so once you guys equip that, it should put a black top on. But you guys will see that you still have the bottom half of the robe. So now once you guys have that, you can just go ahead and just make a custom outfit with that. So as you can see here, I'm just going to add some items to this outfit. So 
so as you guys can see i just added some items to this outfit just added a rebreather a helmet some shoes so i hope you guys enjoyed that glitch and if you guys are enjoying these glitches make sure to let me know down in the comments and if if you do struggle a bit then just let me guys know and i'll try to help you out so for the last glitch in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to get this flight tube glitch onto any of your outfits so you guys want to have an outfit saved and you guys want to go over to the flight suit outfits so now you guys want to go over to the black flight suit you can choose any flight suit depends what color you want so i recommend doing this at a binker clothing near the strip club because you guys will need to use the strip club for this glitch so you guys want to make your way over to the strip club and just go inside so once you're at the entrance you guys want to bring up the interaction menu go to style and then you guys just want to select the outfit that you want the flight sheet on so once you guys have done that you will see when you walk out and you can look at your character he has the flight tube on so now you guys want to run back over to the bingo clothing i recommend just running because if you use your vehicle it will take away the flight tube so now you guys can just make way inside and just save the outfit so that was the last glitch in today's video so i hope you guys enjoyed this video because a lot of people have suggested to make this video so thank you guys for watching this video and if you did please make sure to leave a like down below and also comment if these glitches helped you if they didn't i will try and help you guys out because you might miss some steps sometimes so thank you guys for watching this video, I hope to see you in my next video, and peace.